Warning, history occurs every moment of every day. We are all victims. Your discretion is advised. This is Victims of History. This week, we go to the 12th century Holy Roman Empire for Frederick Barbarossa. Barbarossa was born the Duke of Swabia in the year 1122. Upon the death of his uncle, King Conrad, Barbarossa was named by Conrad to the edge of the throne instead of Conrad's six-year-old son. The German princes elected him King of Germany on March 14, 1152 in Aachen. Barbarossa launched many wars to rebuild the strength of the Holy Roman Empire. He struck a deal with the Pope, whereas he would restore the Pope in Rome in exchange for becoming Holy Roman Emperor. After many years of unsuccessful war in Italy against an alliance of a new Pope and the Lombard League, the Emperor finally signed a peace granting himself great control over the entirety of the Empire. After making his peace with the Pope, he launched the Third Crusade in an effort to retake the fallen Holy City of Jerusalem. After marching through the southern Anatolian desert, came upon a river, Barbarossa overjoyed, ran into the river, and had a heart attack, drowning himself. Many historians believe that if Barbarossa had made it to Jerusalem, he would have retaken the city and changed history forever.